Hello everyone, I'm back. Kingdom Hearts 2 time. Things were slightly delayed because I've got this 8-bit dough controller and it's great and all. It feels nice, but it has a hell of a hard time connecting to my Switch. Anyways. Best one. You're ahead of me, Micah! Damn it. That's what I get for not buying a $500 Nintendo official controller. Could've used Joy-Cons, I guess, but Joy-Cons are awful. So technically this world should have four songs, but it's only got the two. Oh, and I could fall asleep to this song. Also, we're into the Kingdom Hearts 2 enemies. That means there's good gameplay now. Imagine if you could beat dancers that fast. Uh, I can't even, I can't commentate over this, it's too soothing. <laughs> Especially, I think that there's a different quality to the PlayStation 2 version that they're using. Because yeah, there's none of the remastered tracks in this game. It's all PS2 original or otherwise. But the other songs were upbeat, so that'll wake me up. Ooh, Keyblade cards even. Nice. song that's more nostalgic to me in Kingdom Hearts than this, because I, I didn't play start, start with Kingdom Hearts 1. I started a combination 358 days over to Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 simultaneously, and Roxas' intro burned into my brain. Because I feel like half the cutscenes end with them being like, look over there! Da, 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 da. so much there's so many different phases to it and it's so non-standard too with like the pizzicato leads and stuff
damage. Taking damage! Because why I don't play on anything but on the easiest modes. So now we're going to get to the actual batches of worlds, I assume. Nice. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 is not entirely intentionally hard, I think. Like, I think a lot of it is just, like... Oh, this is some weird 2000 era jank. Transitioning from the PlayStation 1 type stuff. So it is kind of hard in that way too, but it's also, yeah, it just doesn't... Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 is one of those games that has a really, really high skill ceiling, but you don't have to engage with it at all to beat that game. Especially in the original version. single boss theme in Kingdom Hearts 2 is so damn good. Like, if I were to pick one game to represent the boss themes, it would be Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, Birth Best Loops got its good stuff, it's got its violins and stuff, but every single one of these boss themes is so iconic and so good. Great. Kingdom Hearts 2 really was like the beginning of Yoko Shimomura really starting to flex. And I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. Which is a desire for all that's lost. That is the insane piano solo. Things that said that I had to have enough of them to open the game it seemed to be Kingdom Hearts 2 songs so specifically, it's not typical to me. Yeah, a lot of the Kingdom Hearts 2 songs have these little, like, net 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 type things, the little staccato hits. Yeah, Rowdy Rumble's great, not ironically. Great song. It's got that low clarinet song to it, the melody. It's got iconic Yoko Shimomura marimbas. Oh, hi, Baroches. Wow, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you. was supposed to be enjoying his last week of summer vacation. But he kept having dreams about Sora. Roxas is doge. No, strange, I won't elaborate. Occurrences started happening around him. You're gonna cancel me on Twitter? Roxas no, I can't take that anymore. I've been cancelled so many times already. That he used to be a member Have you heard what I think about Super Mario time. Odyssey? He also learned that the world he knew was a fake one set up by Diz to restore Sora's memories. With one day left... Uh, I'm so ready for the actual story, though. Everyone's over. losing their minds over it. The recaps are cool, but I do know what's happened. I've beaten all these games a lot.
Wait. Oh, that's cute. A second Twilight Town. Yeah, that makes sense. Instead of having four songs. That's cute. Hey, Onyx. Diz would definitely get cancelled on Twitter. Although I guess in Kingdom Hearts it would be some other thing, like art book. What is it called in Kingdom Hearts 3? Does it have a name? Yeah, this is nowhere near as comfy as the original Twilight Town theme, but it's still good. Battle theme though, great. It's going good, thanks Onyx. Just looking at this actually, I've always kind of wanted to make a video about the hit animations in Kingdom Hearts games because I feel like the Osaka team ones, even Kingdom Hearts 3, as great as it is, the animations for when enemies get hit are very weird and I think I could get good looks at all of them with this game actually, instead of having to try and get the camera right with the actual normal gameplay. Oh, I like the chat. Whoops. Yes, I love it. the Komori bats were an important part of the stream layout for today. I should not look at the chat when I am in the middle of a rhythm game, even on beginner mode. So I wonder if the dancers are the most representation Demix is going to get in the game about music. Because really, he should be the main antagonist, but we'll see where things go when the story actually picks up. I just realized I still don't know what the synthesis is. I'm hoping I'm not just missing a menu or something. But I can't even access the museum on the main menu, so who knows. Man, good shit. This is the great song. Kind of gets overshadowed by Sinister Sundown or Sunset, but it's good. It, it's, I think it goes uh, great with Hand in Hand as one of those, like, Start an adventure songs. The enemy placement really makes this a lot more satisfying than basically any rhythm game I've ever played. Like it gives her a real ebb and flow to it where it's, it's not just 
in the flow of that note. So there's almost a combat flow, even though it's just enemies replacing notes, but they represent like the, the pace of the song, the difficulty and such. thought to be having, but uh, Aqua must have a new gliding animation because she doesn't get glide in Birth by Sleep. Out of nowhere to think about that, but yeah. Do you need to clear every song to unlock museum mode? That's kind of weird. <laughs> written in Jiminy's journal. With some guidance from Nikki, he set off to continue his journey once more. Sora felt his heart grow heavy as the train carried him away from town. At the tower, Yen Sid warned him about Organization 13. Yes, Organization 13. That's what he warned Nikki him about. Had set out to learn more about Definitely didn't teach him anything about any Sora kind of profiling. He searched for him. Again, visiting different worlds. Well, I've cleared more than one song. Or do I need to be clear it in like the music select mode, the track menu to unlock museum? That's I guess that makes sense, but it is kind of weird. I gotta say, just having a map this huge in a Kingdom Hearts game. It's really satisfying in its own way. Close this option. Oh, is this? Yeah, another Neverland. So this must be three by eight days over two. Neat. So yeah, all the side games have their own little branches. I don't think this song needed to be in. If I'm being totally honest, this is one of the weaker songs. Like, I guess this location is important, but I would not call this an, uh, a top 10 Kingdom Hearts song material.
Oh shoot, I didn't change the difficulty. That is weird how they have easy mode specific missions to do. <laughs> yeah, Days is like the one of the only side games to get an actual, uh, when Peter Pan's a guest even though he's not in this game. Uh, yeah, and like none of the other game, side games have, well I guess it depends on what you call a side game, but this is the only one that actually has something resembling a new world. Oh man, oh man, is this just the DS models? Or did they remaster it? Oh, I gotta get a look. What if this is all an elaborate ruse to remaster 358 Days Over 2 as a real video game? Yokoshimura decide to make all of the Wonderland, or not Wonderland, Neverland music be this like amazingly, unreasonably beautiful music that almost doesn't really belong in Kingdom uh, Hearts or any real game, honestly. Skull Rock model, yeah, the Skull Rock model might just be reused from Birth by Sleep, but still, this is a lot more work than I was expecting. Like when they felt like it, they just yeah remake stuff in the PlayStation 2 style, and that's great. They could cheap out a lot. They could have just had a 144p video of the DS game running. Yeah, I think that the day's battle theme for Neverland is really great, honestly. It's bizarre how it's just this random, immaculate song on the DS game. Hey, wait a second. I already got this image. Can you get duplicates? Please tell me you can't get duplicates. I hate it when you can get duplicates. Okay, proud difficulty, here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. I might die. I can do it. Believe in friendship or something. Things like these always make me think about uh, 
Radiant Historia have a Yoko Shimomura type song. Type song, jeez. She composed for Radiant Historia. And those rows, uh, like we're just a whole bunch of heartless stat together. It'd be great to do that. Sometimes the heartless get really close together, but they're not one of those synced up pairs where you have to hit them simultaneously. Oof. Low in health there. Yes, the song rocks, Onyx. I agree. It's a great song. scenarios of days. Soaring Melody. They made a scenario just for the ruler of the sky. <laughs> of all the things. <laughs> That's... Oh, man. They knew. Yeah, this boss seems great. I wish Struggle Away was in this game. I love that boss, boss theme so much. Struggle in a way is a combination of the Chain of Memories and uh, both Chain of Memories boss themes. So neither of them are in this, but Struggle Away is such a great boss theme. Certain songs, there's certain beats you just want to hit. Honestly, Price just in Base Persona 5 is a great song, but yeah, the dancing remixes are all very smooth. Thank goodness, the rule of the sky is preserved for everyone to know. 
They exist. Great. Memory of returning. Man, whoever had to come up with all of these names, and whoever had to localize all of these names, where it's all just memory of word. You had a lot of patience. Oh man, good stuff. Let's do this. Oh no, it's a hard one one. This is gonna be rough. See, I don't know about you guys, but there's just sometimes songs that are like, the only the hard mode gets you the song, the part of the song you really want to play, like how that had the da 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 da, like that's what everyone wants to do in this song. And so it almost becomes easier just because everyone knows that part, they know the rhythm to it. Oh no! Yeah, no, every rhythm game I've played has that thing. <laughs> that was... Yeah, that was, that killed me. That, oof. Alright, let's see. Yeah, nice one. Maybe it's time to break one item. Just use a potion. Maybe it's time to break out Michael Mouse. Oh, I can do more than one. Mm, extra safety. Now, who will Michael replace? God, what, what, jeez. It's still going.
Thank you, Michael Mouse. I don't think I could have done that. I didn't get the 80,000 points anyways, so I'm not going to get the bonus. This will be a long-term investment on my part to get all the way to everything being maxed out. <laughs> Turns out I do miss. Seven days after Roxas was given a name and a place in Organization 13, he encountered number 14, Shion, and the gears of fate began to turn. Man, they cannot decide the how to pronounce Shion's name. Of nobodies, those without hearts. And their goal was to complete Kingdom Hearts in order to become whole again. To achieve this, the Keyblade that Roxas held was an indispensable tool. As the days passed, Roxas completed his missions. I guess you might way, say as the 358 days over Axel two passed. The organization had another goal as well, the creation of replicas. Yes. They had copied swords, this is a very important plot point. I don't think anyone saw Axel that coming. Oblivion ...into an artificial replica, resulting in Shion. Riku found out that this is what was keeping Sora from waking up. And Shion was distraught to learn that she was nothing more than a puppet. Axel did what he thought was best for everyone. And Roxas left the organization to find out who he truly was. That's an interesting way to describe what Axel did. Shion was determined to return her memories to Sora. I can't imagine so Master of Masters theme in this As game, because that's what my nightmares are like. Replica, Shion asked to be destroyed, and she wanted Roxas to be the one to do it. Trusting Roxas to set free the hearts they collected, Shion returned to the place she belonged, inside Sora. So wait, what's after this? Oh, it must be the... Oh, we're getting another side, another story? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Good song. Good song, good song, good song. See, I'm following the Kino order and doing 358 days first so that Kingdom Hearts 2 makes sense. It's nonsense without it, about it. Another one? Another hard mode? You, ugh. God. Ugh. I can't do it. I don't trust myself to do it. I'm doing it. I do remember when they had a PS4 patch and they added a much higher quality animated scene where Rock just lands a few hits on the giant Shion puppet. And it, this completely stands out from the rest of the thing because it's in actual 1080p instead of a weird upscaled resolution. They're lulling me into a false sense of security right now, I can tell. There we go. can't trick me, I know this is going to be hard. Those bits right there are so worth it. I love the little flourish for the meat. Flourish, I guess. satisfying song, even on this difficulty. Let's don't keep up. Wait, I just noticed. 
Roxas' special move is called Black Bowl? The thing where he shoots a bunch of light around is called Black Bowl? Hmm, that wasn't so bad at all. Two cool final bosses. I think you're forgetting about the other three forms of Shion that are all really cool, and they just completely gloss over them in everything besides the actual game. Like I, I think the concept of those Shion final bosses are so cool. How they take on uh, different memories that Sora had, like they reference Kurt Zisa and stuff like that. Also, you completely lose. Shio using Sora's uh, special move if you don't have those boss fights, too. Man, Days has so much cool stuff. It's a shame about how it plays. Roxas headed for the organization's castle, but Riku blocked his path. Upon learning that Roxas was Sora's nobody, Riku unleashed all his powers of darkness to defeat him, paying no mind to the cost. Roxas awoke, ready to start a brand new day of summer vacation. Emo Twink does block your path, correct Onyx? There he is right there, you can see him. Got a little blindfold. Like 9s. All right, it's not a side game complete, but we have yet to reach the most important side game. You all know what the most important side game is. Time will come. I think this is definitely one of the songs that gets hurt by not using the remastered version because it's a lot better when they use actual Chinese instruments. Oh well. Man, they're really ramping up the play on proud mode challenges now, huh? Starts holding her sword like Star Killer, she gets some cool moves. I didn't know she had a big spin like that. Challenges item excluded. I forgot to turn it off. Oops. So. Look how easy it is to deal with these centaurs.
It is that easy in Kingdom Hearts 2 if you guard or use Reflect, but that's everything. The thing about Blindfold is that they don't block your eyesight if you're good enough. So if they are blocking your eyesight, that's on you. PlayStation 2 sounds really make me nostalgic, honestly. Kingdom Hearts 2 on PS2 was definitely the one I played the most because Kingdom Hearts 1 is it's not bad like people will tell you because they're cowards, but it is harder to go back to the Kingdom Hearts 2 is. Kingdom Hearts 2 goes down like sugar. Those little clouds of darkness are loading barriers. Look forward to the PS5 version of Melody of Memory, now featuring memories from Chain Memories, geez. songs from Chain of Memories. They are easy if you get good, Onyx. That's true for everything. Yeah, no, Riku is built different. That's why you can see even though he's wearing a blindfold. It's just how he is. Yeah, exactly. Kingdom Hearts 2 is just combat arenas, so the level design is nothing, but the camera actually functions, unlike every other Kingdom Hearts game. And really, like, 98% of video games in general. Yeah, there's Riku's iconic Chain of Memories themed dive into the heart. This map is so satisfying. Like, it's just nice seeing all these different things you can select, even though each thing is like two songs at most. What an unintentionally fitting place to have Shion.
that's bugging you. Why is this special move called Black Hole? I'm sure it does water damage and uh, Dark Road as well. There's a Roxas card with a move called Black Hole. They played this song during Italian Bake Off. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's not a pull I would ever expect from anything. Hey, it's called Waltz the Damned. That's why it's... So this game's ready E10 for fantasy, violence, and mild language. And there's the mild language. <laughs> Because, yeah, I believe this was censored at some point to, like, Waltz of the Daring or something like that. But, yeah, no, it's just Waltz of the Damned now. Neat. Damn it. <laughs> I keep playing on these higher difficulties to get stuff and I don't even get anything for it. I was gonna say they got Halloween Town twice, but it's because it's the Christmas Town stuff this time. That makes sense. Dancing Melody. Melody of Lost Loyalty. Okay, that's a bit dramatic.
I just noticed they have those cool little uh, stylus explosions when you break the lawn things. Well, that sure was Vim and Vigor. It's not um like my top Kingdom Hearts 2 boss theme, but they're all great. I am getting duplicates. No! 